How's it going everybody? This is the Erroneous One here, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. It is a very special video today indeed guys, because we have finally received this. Animanti or Challenge, use the Fairy Stars Keyblade to get upgrade materials. My level 35 Fairy Stars is coming. I have been waiting for this. So, we're going to go through and take out these challenges. We're going to upgrade my Fairy Stars Keyblade, and then we are going to go take the Fairy Stars out for a little test drive. It's going to go for a nice little smooth drive down the coastline, take in the sights, see what's up, feel that wind blowing through its glorious blades and everything, the Keyblade and such, and, you know, kill a few Heartless, shed a bit of blood. Good times to be had by all. So let's get into this, guys. There are, let's see, looks like... Five quests. Five quests here. <clears throat> Defeat enemies in one turn. Complete level 19. Equip fairy stars. Uh, they all complete within two turns. Complete within 120 seconds. And... Okay. So this looks like um, the last few have different uh, conjunctions there. Or different uh, requirements to get the adamantite ore. Um, sure, we'll go on this. Why not? <clears throat> and we will borrow... Did you get anything on yours extra? I don't think you did, did you? No, but yours is a boosted one, so yeah, we'll take that. Yoink. <coughs> Alright. And I know that we also got the materials quest, but I will still grab all the materials in here now. Anyway, just be on the safe side and make sure I am ready. Oops, uh, defeat all enemies. Yeah, okay. Level 150, this won't, this won't be very hard. Uh, just looking around for materials. Yep, there are a few here and there. Good to know. So I'm super pumped that we got these, finally. Uh, we've all been waiting for a while. Uh, still trying to figure out why they would not just give them to us when the Keyblade was released, or at least like, you know, the next update that was like a two days later was released, but... <clears throat> uh, whatever, we have it now. Oh, he lived. How interesting. Um, sure. <clears throat> so sorry about my voice guys as well I know it's still a little um, scratchy I'm still a little bit coffee um, from allergies I had a while ago they are still lingering just a little bit not so bad but uh, getting better it's just we were getting some rain in my area and ooh there's a camera dude uh, getting some rain in my area and it is just kind of aggravating my allergies unfortunately <clears throat> Oh, it was a counter on the other one, so okay. That's fine. For some reason, I thought there was a counter on the hammerhead. Okay, little witchy there. That little witch has quite a few health bars for being only a level 150 enemy. Interesting. Alright. All right, there we go. Try and speed things along just a little bit. So not a lot of materials in these quests. Um, interesting enough. <clears throat> so these quests seem pretty straightforward. These aren't, aren't going to be anything like like a newer, more difficult version of the. Moogle of Glory Challenges. I forgot to equip the Fairy Stars Keyblade. I was just saying that too, and I went and put Fender on for some reason. <clears throat> Question mark title. That's kind of neat, actually. Okay, so guys, these seem really pretty basic. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here real quick. Go take on the first few challenges, just to save some time in the video, and then I will come back um, to the video after I take out this little spider because it is an Omega. Uh, I'll come back to the video around like I guess like the fourth and fifth quest and um, go over that with you guys. So give me just one second to deal with the spider and then I'll be doing that. So I'll, I'll come back to you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, we're back here. We just finished off the third quest. <coughs> See? 
coughing, allergies. Um, finish off the third quest. We're going to go right here into the fourth quest now. I am going through with my current level 20 uh, fairy star, which is doing well for me. All right. <clears throat> Alright, so here are Werewolf. Complete the 120 seconds. Complete to continue. And you put the fairy stars. Okay, I got timed one, so I got two minutes to do this in. Uh, my fairy, like I said, right now is level 20, but it's doing okay. Do I have to kill all the enemies again? I forget this. No, just. Okay, so I need to just rush through there and get to the, get to the enemy. Okay. <clears throat> And there's now a cat in my lap, which is not the most helpful of things at the moment. Um, swipe, swipe, and... There we go. Just wrecking through things, guys. Just wrecking through things. Um, bum, 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 bum. Kitty wants tension. Kitty cannot have tension right now. Oh. I'm so surprised how badly that lagged down my game. It's because of those stupid little animations for the copter fleets. It's like, for some reason, all those little individual parts lag my game down something, something nasty. Okay, um, let's just be able to pop you off and go there. Man. Not quite, okay. The wolf still wants attention. There we go. Alright, again, sorry about the pause for the game, guys, for the copter fleets. They're just... Lag inducing for my game, unfortunately. Are you trying to help? Alright, some jewels, three ores this time, cool. Alright, last one in here. Let's see. All in one turn. No continues and fairy stars. And level 350 Shadow Magician. Alright. <clears throat> this is it. It's the final one. It's the final countdown. Doo -doo -doo. Now I have that song in my head. For some reason, uh, where I work at, they started doing over, uh, overhead music now. For some reason, I guess to I guess be more... I don't know, approachable, and uh, I kid thee not, guys, the final countdown played in my store <laughs> like four times today. So that song has been in my head <laughs> the entire day. Alright, so this is a little more tricky, uh, definitely because of the because of the archers in there. I don't care about this, uh, the poison archer because I mean nothing is going to live past the turn so I don't care about getting him throwing off. He deals very little damage and the poison won't bother me. Pull whole entire you know frozen thing. Poison never bothered me anyway. Except when it does. Then I curse. Alright this one seems a little better. Only one copter so... Oops, that was a sleepy one. Don't let me do that. Oh well. Yeah. Alright, target battle. Okay, let's go ahead and lock this one off. So this would be a problem. So make sure you come in there with one big AoE nuke so you can just tap on the Shadow Magician uh, until. Uh, you were able to do your one on eat to knock out all those archers in one go, hopefully. Hopefully. Alright guys, it is time, man. There it is. All just complete. Give me my Adamanti or gimme 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 gimme. Alright, uh four of them there, cool. Title is exclamation point. So question mark and an exclamation point. That's that's kinda neat actually. I like the little variation. I really wish it had like one more spot there to add in like like another another word or something. 
that's a regular one, okay. Um, yeah, like, like one more catch rate of some kind to add in there. It'd be kind of cool. But here we go, guys. Keep it level up. So right now, level 20, we are going to jump up <coughs> to 25 levels. Or, sorry, 15 levels. Uh, hopefully I have enough of everything. And here we go. I am very excited for this. 2.5, 1.7. Alright. There's mythical pieces. Got plenty of those. Alright, 2.6, 2.8. And here it is, the last of the ores. 4.4. <coughs> four. Mythical shards, 2.7, 2.9. There's a 2.9 slot. 2.5 and up to 16 for a gauge. Give me my sh give me my new shape. There we go. That does look pretty neat. I do like the way that looks. It that does look pretty neat. A little pattern in a bit. Cool. Yeah, I mean that's actually it's actually a pretty good looking uh, pretty good looking keyblade. I like how it's a speed gem and it levels up the oh never mind, it, it, level, it levels up the the magic portion there, not a speed portion. That's just funny. <clears throat> Two point eight now on my reverse power. 1.8 on the first slot there. Got one of each of them. 129. 1.9 up on top. Two point wow, three of so three of them in the road up to level 30 only give you that first um slot to increase on. That's interesting. Okay, here we go. 2.9 on the reverse power slot, which I think is the max this one is going to get at least up to 35. 3.0 on the upright speed. Two point ten there on the first one there. Alright, 34. Uh two point six on the reverse magic portion. And 35 guys, 2.7 and 2.8 on the reverse magic and the upright magic respectively, and up to 17 gauges without any kind of SP gauge um, up. Oh, look at that. And it even changed shape again on that 35. I, I forgot that it changed shape, shape sometime at 35. Like, I don't think the other ones did that. I think the other ones just stayed the way they were. They just got that glow about them. This one actually changed like design and everything. Did it? It looks like it did. I could be wrong. Unless, unless it's like inverse colors, maybe. Like I see the three stars there, and, like the black background on it. Oh, look at that golden ore of awesome right there. Um, tempting. Have gems. Uh, do I want to save gems or no? I don't know right now, because this is actually a pretty good one. This is a boosted Kiar Bonds with ground minus 60 and strength plus 1,000. This is this isn't a, this is not a bad one right there. My nominee here, I'm, I'm going to give her an AB4 max as opposed to AB4 attack price plus, but she also has air and ground. So... I keep getting yelled at though that I should upgrade my Starlight, but I don't want to upgrade Starlight. I don't ever use Starlight. I do not know. I don't know. Screw it. Let's go for the Gusto. We're going to upgrade until we, until we can't right now for this video, and then we'll start building up gems again. We're getting gems much more often in the game, so I don't feel too bad investing in some more gems there. So 3.02. 3.04. Wow. Okay. 3.06. <laughs> Alright, last one. This one, these are my final magic gems. 3.08. I would love to see some upgrades here also on the reverse power and the upright magic right here, but 3.08, guys. That's where I'm at right now. Next, the next one is going to give me 3.10 at 35.5. <clears throat> Alright. 
Oh, we've maxed this thing out as best we can. It looks great. Let's go and take this baby for a test drive. I think it should be you, isn't it? Jack in the box. Or is it going to be a dark side? I think dark side has more HP to play with. Let's find out. Alright, so mind you. This, is, this, has, this has Sephiroth EX went off five times between Namine, Sephiroth, Key Art Bonds, HD, HD Shion, and then once again your shared Sephiroth. So let's see what lives past this. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're going to grab that. Thank you. Let's see, 121 bars. I have no idea. Let's find out. All right, so it's off. it does not proc, so that's not an indication of its power. So over 500,000 damage with it not proccing, with proccing it probably would have been closer to, what, 7,000, 800,000 damage, something like that. There's Sephiroth himself going off now with boost over a million right there. All right, 3.08 slot, uh, ground trait activated and strength plus 1,000 and AB4 max. 1.5 million. <laughs> I didn't even get to the other two. Uh, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> this is very good. Uh, this is probably going to be my Coliseum set up for a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet for that one, though. Um, I have some choices to make right now. Um, trying to think. Because right now, with the way it's currently set up, at the moment anyway, I got this one right here. I would have to remove Kyrie more than likely, and put in another general defense down one. Now, the issue with that one isn't so much a problem for the most part. I do indeed have my um, Tifa and Aerith Metal that I can throw in there where, where Tyree is. That does have double cast on it, so I will get um, minus four general defense down on her spot there. The downside of that is, of course, I lose out on the SP gauge replenishment, which is kind of needed going through because you don't always get a bunch of um, SP being replenished going through Coliseum. Hmm. Actually, I could put her in my pet metal, but I don't think anything—I don't think anything would survive there anyway, so that wouldn't really matter. See, these are, the, these are the questions. These are the things that, that, that plague me, that plague the Aaron. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Like I said, this is probably going to be my new Coliseum setup. Like right now, I've been currently using... Um, this is my Coliseum setup right here. And then I was going to switch out... Um, with, in the spirit slot, I have my iTerra B. Because, uh, like I said, my Tifa and Aether here um, has extra attack and strength plus 1,000. So, gives me that times, uh, times 4 on both strength and um, defense down. So... I'll figure it out. But guys, that's it. This is the uh, this is the video. This is my <laughs> my fairy starts at 35.4. It's glorious. Um, and I'm very happy about that. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here uh, before I gush over it even more. Uh, you guys have wow. You know, actually, next week this kind of week should be a raid week. Oh man, uh, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think now of some kind of like different. Uh, Rating stuff I, I can make with this now. But, okay, anyway, I gotta go before I keep on going on about this. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.